So hey, welcome to the new year. You're here with Tony B from the 1010 Movement, assisting you to move in areas of your life where you may be struggling with to become more successful. And in today's video, we're talking about the area of life which at this time of year, that's Christmas, New Year, chuck in a bit of COVID, lockdowns, tears and all of that, our intimate relationship life is the area of life that's most likely to get challenged to the hilt. So in this video, I am going to share one thing that could absolutely blow your socks off because, to be honest, you've never been taught it at school. In fact, almost no one at school taught anybody anything about this oh-so-important area of life we call intimate relationships. Yeah, it's like, honestly, it got left off the curriculum, but tell me, how important is your intimate relationship life? Like, we live in it every day. Um, we don't do geography and history every day, do we? But we do live in here. So this one piece of information, when I learned this, I went, oh my goodness me. I was 47 when I heard this, 47 years old. If I'd have known this when I was like, you know, 14, 15, got my first girlfriend, my whole life would have been different. So listen up, and if your relationship's struggling right now, I want you to check in with this one thing. Maybe grab your partner, sometimes I know, if your relationship life's not going, you know, firing on all cylinders, it might be difficult to grab your partner and go, come on, let's watch this together. But I'd encourage you to do it so that you could at least have a conversation that maybe, well, I can guarantee you've never had this conversation before. So uh, this is all about really um, you, because look, I always say in the area of intimate relationships, if we blame them, we're, we're on a loser because they'll be blaming you, you'll be blaming them. If you're doing any of that, then your relationship's going to struggle even more. And the chance of you turning it around goes down massively. So let's just at least maybe sit together and go, right, I'm gonna look at me, and if you look at you, and let's share a bit of truth. I always say love and truth holds hands, just about our past, yeah? So this is a phenomenal question to just ask yourself. So, and maybe if you've never come across this before, it might take a bit of brain power to try and work it out, but I'll give you myself and the amazing Nikki B, my wife, as an example, yeah? So, I want you to look back. If you were brought up by your parents, now most people are brought up by your parents, so guy, if, you know, when you think of your mum and you think of your dad, and the girl in this uh, situation, think of your mum, think of your dad. And I want you to ask yourself, who am I most like? Am I more like my mum? or am I more like my dad? Girls, am I more like my mum, or am I more like my dad? Okay? And just think, now some people tend to go, yeah, well, I'm a bit of both, but which one was the predominant one? Which one were you more like? I often say, to help you with this, I often say, when there was a problem, when you were in trouble, which one did you go to? And that's the one you're likely to be most like. Okay, this is probably true for 90 plus percent of people. We're always going to get the odd person that can't see it or, or literally, you know, can't work it out. But, you know, just think about it for a second. Are you more like your mum, more like your dad? And did which one did I gravitate to if I had a problem, yeah? Because that's the one you're most likely to be like. And then go, right, how am I actually like them is, is a good question. But what I want you to do before, before you even think about that is I want you to think about when you were brought up in the house you were brought up in, who out of your mum and dad was in charge in that house? Yeah, who was in charge? I mean, most people know straight away. Some people go, well, my dad was in charge of the big things, my mum looked after everything else, that sort of stuff. But actually, normally, there's a clear leader. If there was a leader in this house, was it your mum or was it your dad? Now, with the other bit of information, which is who am I most like, now you start to see whether in this relationship that may be not working out so well, you know, if in fact, in my case, as I said, I would share with you about me, I am more like my dad, okay? But in my house, my mum was much more in charge than my dad. My mum was like, yeah, definitely in charge. My dad sort of did as he was told, yeah? And so I gravitated towards my dad. Um, you know, there were reasons, but that doesn't really matter. So 
when I look at my mum and dad, if I look at them through the guise of masculine and feminine energy, if it were true, and I believe that it is, having learned all I've learned, that the leader of a relationship is, generally speaking, acting in a more masculine way, and the more feminine person is like they join together. You know, masculine and feminine energy create a whole. But actually, male energy sort of leads and feminine energy supports. Now, that doesn't mean, please don't think I'm saying feminine energy is weak. These are equal. In fact, sometimes I go, do you know what? Feminine energy has got a lot more strength about it than masculine energy. But look, imagine for a moment, we were born masculine or feminine. But you see, what happened to me is I copied my dad and my dad was more feminine. So when I came into relationships, I started to meet people that were more like my mum. So I'm then taking the more feminine role and uh, I'm a, you know, the, the, the lady in my relationships took the more masculine role because look, that's what I observed. So to me, that was normal. But here's the thing, with Nikki, um, her dad was more masculine and her mum was more feminine. And so uh, Nikki, if she had a problem, she'd always go to her dad. So she, as a girl, learned to be more masculine. So I've learned from my dad how to be more feminine. She's learned from her dad how to be more masculine. Their relationship, Nikki's parents' relationship, was much more connected. Because look, the male energy of a man connects with the female energy or the feminine energy of a woman. That makes the whole, yeah? Now, over here, where you've got the woman doing the male energy and the man doing the more feminine energy, then you've got like a sort of disconnect. These two things don't really fit together. Do you remember doing ma magnets at work at school? Yeah, we used to play with magnets. And if you put them the right way around, they attract. Masculine, feminine attracts. They will say positive, negative, don't they? But if you turn them around the other way, they like repel each other. Now, we are born. Now, I appreciate we're living in the 21st century and the logical mind of the human being is massively getting in the way of the nature of the human being. The nature of the human being is male energy joins with female energy, it's like that magnet. The logical mind of the female and male world right now is that we are either equal or, you know, we're fighting for position. This is causing intimate relationships to break down en masse. So, just listen up for me for a moment and just go, yeah, look, who am I more like? Am I more like my mum or more like my dad? Who was in charge in my house? Was it my mum or my dad? And who, who was the, the more dominant, the more male versus the more female? And who am I like? Now, if you're a guy, and like me, you were brought up in, you know, because I could have, if my mum was feminine and my dad was masculine, and I could have gone, gravitated towards my mum and still become more feminine in my style of life, yeah? So you can learn it from either, but it's just identifying where you are and just see if in this relationship that you're in, is the girl, ha, has the man got male energy? I always call this healthy male. This is not dominant alpha male. This is healthy male energy. And have we got healthy female energy? This is not passive aggressive or heavy aggressive in any way. So it's healthy masculine, healthy feminine. If the man's got healthy masculine, the woman's got healthy feminine, then you've got the recipe for success. But trust me, what I'm seeing as I observe the world is I'm seeing so many relationships where that formula is not happening. And I have a belief, along with Nikki, that we have ended up going against the nature of the human being. And when you go against nature, it's always going to be a problem. You can look at nature right now, as humans keep going against nature, then we get more and more problems, yeah? So, uh, I trust that's helped you somewhere. Uh, I, I know it's a big thing to take on board. Um, there is more stuff on the 1010 Movement on the YouTube channel to help you with this. Um, you're definitely gonna find another relationship video at the top, and you're definitely down the bottom going to find um, a, a video where it'll teach you a little bit about um, where are you in all areas of your life on the uh, 1010 Life Check, which, as I say, I encourage you to take. www.10-10.life, do the test, find out where you are, and uh, study more about this era of intimate relationships, as I say, so that you can find out how you can create that magnetic pullback together again. 
So that's it from me, Tony B from the 1010 Movement. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.